Hello everyone, welcome to Mind Wars Masterclass. My name is Chaitanya Sant. In the last episode, we studied about how unstable conditions in Europe were responsible for the rise of dictators. Today's masterclass is about how these dictators were responsible for the Second World War. When the First World War ended, Mankind hoped and prayed that we are never a subject that we witness such destruction ever again. However, this hope or this wish failed. Just within 20 years of the end of the First World War, the Second World War began and the Second World War was much more destructive in comparison to the First. The Second World War again was fought between two groups, the Axis and the Allied Powers. The Axis Powers, famously known as Jig, that is Japan, Italy and Germany. Whereas the Allied Powers, known as FERA, France, England, Russia and America. Let's highlight some very important events of the Second World War chronologically. It all starts on the 1st of September 1939 when Hitler's Germany invades Poland with the intention of capturing entire Europe. Just within three days, England and France declare war on Germany. However, Hitler knew that the Polish army isn't powerful enough to thwart him as a result of which the war ended very quickly. 1st September 1939 is considered the date when the Second World War began and the Polish army received no help from England and France. As a result of which, even though the war started for the first eight months, there was no actual fight that took place. As a result of which, the first eight months of the Second World War is also called the Phony War. Germany was at the forefront of this war and Hitler had realized that if we want to win a war on the battlefield, we need to have an effective strategy. This led to Hitler coming up with one of the greatest war strategies ever known as Blitzkrieg. Blitzkrieg means lightning war. So Blitzkrieg was that the attack starts with the air force and the armored tanks going in and destroying the main headquarters or the main military centers of the enemy, thus disheartening them completely. And then after the main centers are destroyed, the soldiers walk in. The Blitzkrieg was effective because it strikes at a lightning speed, it is quick and it reduces the loss of soldiers. Hitler was ably supported by his air force, also called as Luftwaffe, and his modern panzer tanks. With the use of this Blitzkrieg strategy, Germany now invaded France on the 14th of June, 1940. France had realized that if Germany start using Blitzkrieg, they are going to be destroyed and decimated. And more importantly, the French were worried about the architectural marvels of Paris. As a result of which, on 22nd June, 1940, France just surrendered to Germany without a fight and Paris came in as a gift to the German forces. That was the might and that was the power Adolf Hitler had in Europe. Now, Adolf Hitler was adamant that this surrender should happen at the same place where Germany had surrendered at the end of the First World War. As a result of which, the railway car at Compagnia was brought, Hitler came in and that is where he accepted the surrender of the French forces where in the year 1918, Germany had to surrender to the French forces. And that was a revenge served nice and cold by Adolf Hitler. By this, by the capture of France, a new theater of war had opened and Adolf Hitler had shown his mighty domination over the continent of Europe. After the surrender of France, England was the only major European power remaining to fight against the Germans. Hitler believed that now that French have surrendered, Britain cannot survive for long. As a result of which, the German Air Force, the Luftwaffe, started bombing Great Britain. These bombing raids lasted for a long time, but Britain somehow fought back. The British Prime Minister was Winston Churchill. He said that we have to retaliate and that's when the British Royal Air Force retaliated by bombing Germany. It was Winston Churchill who always inspired his troops, he inspired his country and in one of his famous speeches he said, that we shall fight on the beaches, we shall fight on the landing grounds, we shall fight on the fields and on the streets, we shall fight on the hills, we shall never surrender. One of the greatest events of the Second World War was in 1940 at the Battle of Dunkirk, where 
around 4 lakh British troops along with the Allied troops were retreated from the shores of Dunkirk back into England. Again, with the inspiration that came from Winston Churchill, it was the Royal Navy of England along with civilian ships that went to Dunkirk, carried the soldiers and came back to England. This event famously known as the Miracle of Dunkirk or the Retreat of Dunkirk. As I mentioned in the beginning, the Allied nations were fed up. France, England, Russia and America. So where are they? Where is the mighty United States of America till 1941? They were silent. The war was majorly concentrated in Europe. As a result of which, the United States of America for the first two years stayed away from the war. So what dragged America in the war? One country that dragged America in the war was an Asian country. Mighty surprise. It was Japan. Before the world war started, Japan wanted to expand its control all across Southeast Asia and capture the Manchurian Islands in China and eventually also wanted to capture Korea. But American Navy had put an embargo on the Japanese ships. There were certain trade restrictions also that were imposed on Japan by America. Japan realized that there is one obstacle for us becoming the masters of Southeast Asia and that is the American Navy. And that's when Japan thought of something which no other nation could have ever dreamt of. They decided let's bomb America and destroy their Navy. By the 1941, because America had not participated in the war, their entire Pacific fleet, that is all their warships, were docked at the Pearl Harbor in the Hawaiian Islands, far away from the Japanese mainland. And it was not even well protected because America never thought that any country would ever attack them. It was General Yamamoto, the man in charge of the Japanese Navy, who planned and executed a surprise attack on Pearl Harbor. It was the 7th of December 1941, Sunday morning, wherein Japanese aircrafts entered the Hawaiian Islands and bombed Pearl Harbor. The bombing was successful because the element of surprise was achieved by General Yamamoto and the Japanese Air Force. In the attack of Pearl Harbor, around 20 ships were destroyed, 250 aeroplanes were destroyed and more than 3000 American civilians had lost their lives. The Americans were completely surprised with this attack and they were caught unawares. They could never imagine that Japan could destroy their naval fleet. As a result of it, the very next day, 8th December 1941, the American President Franklin Roosevelt declared war on Japan. So with this, America entered, an Asian country was there. So now the war truly became a global war. The Second World War with the attack of Pearl Harbor on 7th December 1941. However, the attack of Pearl Harbor was not completely successful. The reason being the Japanese Air Force had missed important military targets like the repair wing, oil depots and the most important being the American aircraft carriers were not present at the Pearl Harbor when the attack was initiated. This was realized by General Yamamoto and he said, we have awakened a sleeping giant. The giant woke up and retaliated in June 1942 in the Battle of Midway, wherein the American aircraft carriers went into mainland of Japan and the American aircrafts destroyed four important Japanese aircraft carriers and a cruiser. This meant that the Japanese Navy was now completely destroyed. In the meanwhile was the Battle of Stalingrad, wherein Germany invaded Russia with the intention of capturing Stalingrad. Hitler realized that uh, Stalingrad would be captured within a few weeks because it wasn't well protected by the Russian army. However, Germany were in for a surprise because the civilians of Stalingrad had now enrolled in the Russian army. The civilians included men of all ages and women had also participated and joined the Russian army to fight the German forces. This fight was so powerful that eventually Germany could not survive in the city of Stalingrad. In February 1943, around 90,000 German soldiers had to surrender and the loss of German soldiers counted to almost 3 lakh. This was a massive beating to the German army. It is also believed that the extreme climatic conditions also play, played a vital role in the German army losing the Battle of Stalingrad. 
On 6th June 1944, more than 1 lakh British and American troops landed on the coast of Normandy in France. Within few months, this number went up to 20 lakhs. This opened the second front of the war and this also called for trouble for Germany. Hitler now realized that surviving in Europe is going to be next to impossible. By 1944, France was also freed from German control. Fearing captivity, on 30th April 1945, Hitler committed suicide and 7th May 1945, Germany surrendered. Two days later after the surrender, on 9th May 1945, the Second World War officially came to an end in the continent of Europe. The Second World War had ended in Europe, however, not in Asia. Japan was still fighting and had captured major territories of China. But now the Allied Nations lost their control. The Allied Nations was now led by the United States of America. America always wanted to take revenge of the attacks of Pearl Harbor. So now comes 6th August 1945, when the American Air Force dropped a little boy on the Japanese city of Hiroshima. You've guessed it right. The little boy was a nuclear weapon, an atom bomb. For the first time in history, was nuclear power used for a destructive purpose. The Americans did not stop there. Three days later, 9th August 1945, the fat man, another atomic bomb was dropped on the Japanese city of Nagasaki. In a span of three days, more than one lakh citizens in Hiroshima and Nagasaki were put to death. Japan could not take this any longer because meanwhile, Russia had also waged war on Japan. As a result of which, on an extremely destructive note, on 2nd of September 1945, Japan surrendered, which marked the end of the Second World War. The Second World War that lasted for six long years resulted in the death of 1.5 crore soldiers. The war expenditure of all the nations collectively went up to almost $1.5 trillion. This obviously resulted in a massive economic collapse. The entire world realized the meaning of the phrase, make peace, not war. And to achieve the peace on 24th October 1945, a peacekeeping organization was set up called the United Nations Organization. And the UN still plays a successful role in maintaining world peace. That's it for today's masterclass. Log on to Z5 and keep playing Mind Wars.